Greetings everybody, I'm Lobo and welcome to Horizon Zero Dawn. You may be wondering why I'm in this tall grass. <laughs> uh, it's because last episode we came out here to the sun steps to get the tall neck, not realizing that this place was crawling with cultists. Right over the rise, got face to face with one, ran away. That's pretty much how we ended last episode. Uh, so, how we're going to start this episode is working our way through the perimeter here. Slowly but surely, taking these guys out one by one. And the reason why we're going to start with the perimeter is because this poses a higher threat than do the guys down there at the center of the ring. He ducked! That's not fair. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Corruption sees us. See, see, they don't pose much of a threat down there. Can't hit me. Can't get me. Right, so we got a heavy up here. You can stay back. I really just want him to not come in here. If he comes in here, I have to run. I have to retreat. Right now, I'm covered. I would like to continue to be covered. Nope, stay back. Stay back. Alright, let's get some shots in. Oh, there he is. That's 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 the guy. That's the guy I don't like. Come on, two arrows to the face. Come on, guy. Doesn't that hurt? At least take him out. There we go, that was a good shot. All right. And one more. All right, I think that's it until we get to the other side. All right, so we're good, we're good. We're just gonna stay low, that way nobody else can hit us. They have a lower angle on us. Can't shoot up through the ground, you know? <laughs> and now we have the Deathbringer God. And we're leaving Slag Shack Glass. I don't want to leave that. All right, inventory. Be right back. All right, all right. Carrying around useless ancient jewelry that I have no need for. Uh, health potion. We'll use this and then pick this up. That way we're all full on health. All right, I think we're good to go. Now, we need to figure out who our biggest threat is down here. Oh, and that, the answer to that is obvious. It's the Corruptor, so... Feed him a little bit of lead. And, oh my gosh! Ah, just anything! <laughs> we kick some dust up into his eyes, that'd be great! Alright. I just have these three remaining dudes over here. So I can't hit from this far away. So I think we'll make our way around there just to finish clearing out the remaining area, you know? Those are just hardpoint arrows. Here I was thinking we'd have a, we'd have a, I don't know, something. But no. It's just giving us ammunition that we're already all full up on. All right, so a little refresher as to what we're actually doing. Obviously, well, obviously right now we're at the sun steps. We're trying to get on this tall neck before the cultists do. I should be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. And here's where we would do that from. What is this? Come on. Oh, more hardpoint errors. Um, but in addition to that, there's other stuff that we're going to be doing in this area. Uh, and that involves the hunting for the lodge quest. We still need... Woo! Okay. He's got... He's got some distance on that thing. I can't even see him. I'm just shooting at his little glowy bits. Alright. There we go. We're all clear. 
so I think all that's left to do is wait for the tall knight to actually make his way over here. So yeah, hunting for the lodge. We I still need onto the tall neck from here. We still need a Ravager trophy. I can actually pick this up now, can't I? Yeah. Because we had to pick up three Saltese trophies, two Ravager trophies, and a Stalker trophy. We have everything else but the last Ravager trophy. So once we're done here with this tall neck, we're going to go grab that. And then we might head back to the lodge and Made see it. what the now next... Climb up to its head. And see what the next step is for that quest. So... Go ahead and make our way up to the top of this tall neck. Knock this out of the way. And this is going to let us see if there's any more quests in the remaining area. So, we may do something else before heading back to Meridian. We may do something that's a little closer by. We will see in just a second. Completed tall neck, tall neck, sun steps, XP, reveal map, and skill point. I want to check out the skill points first. You have two. Could do critical hit plus, but I think I want to save up for knockdown. Because I really want to improve that heavy spear attack. Alright. <clears throat> well, let's see what we got as far as stuff in this area. Because the tall neck reveals all. Alright, so that's where our Ravager trophies are. We're going to grab the Ravager trophies. I know that. I already said that. Um, as far as other stuff in this area... We have this village over here. That might be worth paying a visit to if we want to hang out in this area for a little bit, you know? Probably pick up some more quests and stuff there. So, that's stuff that we'll consider... As we kind of work our way around here in the next few minutes, we'll figure out where exactly we want to go, what exactly we want to do. If we want to stay in this area, or if we want to... Watch out for this tall next feet. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and highlight his track. So that way we can make sure that he's not going to accidentally stomp on us as we uh, work our way around here. Because I need to collect some stuff still. Oh, and if you guys want to read this, of course, feel free to. Um, but I need to collect this, like the Corruptor stuff and all that. So I'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes. Alright, I'm back. Took a little bit longer than expected. Has some IRL stuff I had to tend to, so, uh, what were we doing again? <laughs> now, I remember, because it's up at the top left of the screen, we are uh, looking for our Ravager trophies. So, we're just going to go ahead and make our way in this general direction, then. Hopefully, I'm trusting the waypoints here. Um, but, uh, yeah, this will have to be my last episode for this particular session, because uh, I, I do have... Some stuff I need to do. Ah! IRL stuff. It's never fun. <laughs> Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. But, uh, yeah. So, we're not going to take on any big new quests in this episode. We're going to kind of wrap up what we have, I think. That's the goal, anyway. I am not doing too well navigating right now. Um, <clears throat> but we are going to avoid these guys over here because, you know what? They're not Ravagers. We're on a mission right now. We're on a hunt for Ravager trophies. These guys are clearly not uh not what we need. They're just an annoyance. So, we'll go ahead and make our way up here. And see that these aren't Ravagers. These are too small. Scrappers. Oh, but you know what? Scrappers do carry processed metal blocks that we can use to get animal parts to increase our carry capacity which would make inventory management slightly less of an issue why am i having so much trouble right now come on i wasn't gone that long all right come on jeez <laughs> alert the whole neighborhood You stay away. I'm on a rock. Oh, you're on a rock too. Okay. Well, now I'm not on the rock anymore. Uh, you got what we need. He's got what we need. We also need some inventory space. Be right back. 
All right, all right. So we got that scrapper sap now. We got that good scrapper sap. All right. Um, <clears throat> man, I really need to do something about my inventory. I'll take that away. My inventory is just ridiculous right now. It's like no matter how much space we get, I told you this earlier. There, no matter how much space we get, I'm still going to use it all. So, I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise. Shouldn't be a surprise. These are not Ravagers. These are... New Machine Trampler. That's not necessarily a new machine. That's what we uh, were messing around with at the hunting grounds. I guess I didn't scan him or pick anything up from him, did I? No. Um, look at that shadow. Look at that. You can see the moonlight, the shadow... Ow, I ran in my face into a rock. Uh, you can see the shadow from from that thing. That's that's awesome, actually. But no, uh, like we didn't scan or pick anything up from the Ravagers, though, because I was too busy, uh, too busy holding my little rodeo, you know, tying them down. Shooting components off their bellies. I feel like I do that. Wait, I feel like I feel like that's uh, I feel like that's a um. A very peculiar thing about the hunting ground. It's all about shooting components off of uh off of bellies. Undercarriages. Alright. Got our ravagers over here. This guy is just a watcher. We wanna make sure we get him out of the way though, because we only want to deal with the ravagers. He's going back into his little hidey hole. I think we're... This area is pretty clear right now. Um, I want to see what all this stuff is over here. Oh my. It's like the, the shell walkers have been stockpiling stuff over here. Alright. So you know what time it is. I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, we have a little bit of room now. <laughs> One day, one day, my, uh, my deepest aspiration is to be the person that doesn't have inventory management issues. Stop hoarding. Way too much stuff. Way too much. Alright, so if the coast is clear, I think we pick a fight with a Ravager. Preferably one. Preferably one. The question is, which one? I think this guy over here that I hear stomping around, he is gonna be the he's gonna be the guy. He's our dude, so we're gonna rid him of all his weaponry to start off with. And his armor. Just kinda strip him bare so long as he lets us, you know? He is he is clueless right now. He's like, what is happening? All my stuff is falling off. No, he's not. He he knew. He's aware. All right. Oh, and and this guy is now uh, very curious as to why parts are flying all over the place. That's fine. That's fine. You got stuff. Your stuff can fly off too. Oh my! A third one. Okay. Now. Now this is getting interesting. And by interesting. I mean, very, very sketchy. I don't like it. Don't like it, not one bit. Alright, let's not pull these guys towards the tramplers. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yes, yes, this is cheap. I'm not denying that. Especially without giving these guys the benefit of their ranged weapons. But I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Alright. Oh! Oh, they're smart. They're not going to engage. They're not going to engage if they can't get to me. You guys want to play like that, huh? Okay. Alright, so I think we will go down to them. But, what we're going to do... So we're gonna break out the trip caster, set up a little trap for them outside their little hidey hole. If they wanna hide because I'm hiding, 
then uh they can they can get trapped yeah because <laughs> they could have set up a trap for me you know it's just that they didn't think about it actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go for this cannon instead Here they come. we're gonna go for the quick kill all right come on guys i'm down here and i know you know i'm down here Here we go. We got some action. We got some action. Come on. Oh, no, don't, don't actually come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's back up a little bit. Oh my, okay. Now, now I'm in some mess. All right, um, cannon. No, not shards! Who wants shards? Oh, Tripcaster. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's the backup plan. <laughs> Ooh. Just knocked out your buddy. He's gonna be angry when he wakes up. Alright. Let's see. Shock him. I'm gonna shock him. Come on. You can shock them both and pick up that ow cannon. That'd be awesome. Man. All right. I want that cannon. Two Ravagers. Not an ideal situation. Got scrappers over here. But I want this cannon. So what we're going to do is ring around the rock. And come up on it from behind. Yeah. All right, come on. We got him this time. Got a fully loaded cannon. Good as done. Got some left over too, huh? Got some left over for our scrappers. We get some more processed metal blocks. Here we go again. Ooh. This guy first. <laughs> Don't want to have to meddle with him. All right, and then finish take out the rest of these scrappers, just because we do need the, those process metal blocks. Those are very important to us going forward. So that way, I don't have to keep cutting the videos every time I need to go into my inventory and, and disassemble stuff and all that. Got you. Try to get our inventory upgraded as best we can. Uh, what we really need is to be able to trade one of these processed metal blocks in for a boar bone. And that's what's going to allow us to upgrade our carry capacity. Alright. Alright. Processed metal block. Uh, let me run around here. I'm not worried about the scrapper lenses. Uh, let me run around here. Collect some stuff, get our trophy, uh, and then we'll figure out what our next steps are going to be. Ravager, Ravager trophy. Nice. Oh, good hunt. Hunting for the lodge. We got that done, or not done, done. We need to deliver the trophies to Assis. That scumbag. That big bag of scum. But then they'll welcome us with open arms, right? <laughs> Okay, so I think we pretty much got everything we actually need. Now, as far as what we're going to do next, I want to stay in this area. So I think we're going to go and make our way to this corrupted zone uh, and get that knocked out since we are nearby. We are very, very close to that. Uh, and then I think we will possibly make our way to that village we were looking at earlier. Um, so we'll go ahead and clear this out. What is that? Big tadpole? It's flopping around. It's flopping. You know what we could do? <laughs> Save these for the trail. What we could do, actually, yeah. I don't know, that's a long way. Never mind. I was gonna say we get the Ravager Cannon. <laughs> Just bring that over here. But um, let's go ahead and get a feel for this guy. He might not. I mean, that's not a rabbit. Let's get a feel for this giant rabbit over here. Corrupted Rock Breaker.
Okay. Sensitive to sound as the machine burrows underground and surfaces with devastating force. Yeah, we don't want that happening. We definitely don't want that happening. We keep him above ground if we can. Destroy as many of his uh, components as we can, his digging arms. Get rid of his digging arms, he ain't digging nowhere. He's gonna sit there flopping around. Just gonna flop. Corrupted zone discovered. New infected zone, corrupted zone. Let's go ahead and make this our active quest. Level 32. Okay, we're level 34. All right. Uh, so this should be doable. It should be. Then again, I haven't really been upgrading the way I should. We'll see. Oh, you know what would have been smart? To actually be prepared for this fight. That would have been... That would have been smart. You guys remember the end of the first Tremors movie? They're kind of hanging out on the rocks while the Graboids are trying to get them. That's my plan for this. That's... Okay. Maybe not a great plan. Let's go up higher on the rocks. But yes, that is that is my plan exactly. It's just to hang out on the rocks. Oh! So that way these guys can't surface under me and swallow me at least, you know? I don't know if that's actually a thing they do. But it seems like a thing they would be capable of. You know, Graboids... Ow. Graboids, man. They're dangerous. Ah, God, this corruption. Jeez. All right. So they spread this corruption around, too. That's, uh, that's not great. I feel... Oh, man, that guy just leap over the rock. All right, this, this, this is bad. This, this rock is just full of, uh, full of nastiness. So I think what we need to do... Get out of here. Find another rock. Preferably a big rock. Yeah, I'd, I'd feel much better about standing and fighting if there weren't two of them. Alright. Back into this. Damn. No more of these. Alright, that's fine. Oh, we are very short on our echo shells. That's not great. That's not great. Man. Okay. So plan. Are they not? Is that as far as they can go? Can they not get over here? All right, well, you know what, guys? If they really can't get over here, I'm about to be super cheesy for a little bit. <laughs> I discovered their weakness. It's distance. All right, so I'm about to be super cheesy for a little bit, I think. Because, honestly, like, uh, this is our first time dealing with these guys. They have some attacks on them. Uh, and I'm more more concerned with staying alive at this point than trying to impress you guys. <laughs> so, uh, we're not going over there until we get rid of their diggy diggy flippers. Once we get rid of their diggy diggy flippers and they can't uh, escape underground and then pop up on me unseen, Okay, well, chances of that happening now are fairly small. No more echo shells. Man, okay. You know what? Let's see if we can do some damage to them. We'll freeze them. Get some extra damage going, right? Jeez, come on, this barrage. And then we're going to try to shoot them all.
Because the main thing is, I don't want to end this episode, this entire session of gameplay with a death. I've been doing pretty good so far. So I don't... really don't want to walk away from this on a sour note. It's like, am I going to feel good about myself for doing this? Probably not. But neither are these rock breakers. <laughs> That's the thing. Alright. Do as much damage to these guys as we can. So if we can manage one of two things, one thing I would like more than the other, Oh, look at that! Free Willy! Um, free El Blanco. Uh, if we can manage to either get their diggy flippers off, that would be great. Uh, preferably, though, I would like to just get one of them completely out of the way and then face the remaining one one-on-one, -on -one, like out there in the field. That's what I'd like to do, but, but, two of them, there's no way I survived that. I, like, I freely admit that. There's no way I survived going out there against two of them. One of them, that's going to be a challenge. Two of them, that's a death sentence. So if we can manage to just get rid of this one guy that's lower on health, We'll go out there and we'll fight the other guy. I will. I will. I'm saying it right now. I'm committed to it. We get rid of this guy. We go out there. We fight the other dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am aware of how ridiculous I am right now. It's not my fault these giant machines have programming limitations that make them less of a threat than they really should be. They are impressive though. They're super impressive. The, uh, the design of the machines it's been pretty awesome throughout. Like, I love the fact that you know, a lot of them, like, take their cues from, like, you know, modern animals. I love the fact that we've got the Thunderjaw, the T-Rex, with all the heavy weaponry. That's awesome. These guys, these guys are sensitive to sound. They, they truly do remind me of Graboids. And I love that. And thinking about it earlier, we ran out of our Echo Shells. We ran out of our Chair Blast Arrows. Should have said something like, when you need it and you don't have it, you sing a different tune. Burt Gummer. Lobo. <laughs> Quote myself quoting him. Alright. Something's going on. They're setting a trap, huh? No, they're not setting a trap. They're just stuck. <laughs> Here we go. Burt Gummer, one of my personal heroes. That, the other guy's at near full health. That'll be a good fight. Like I said, though, we're going to focus mainly on the other one. If uh, the guy that's not as damaged takes some collateral damage, you know what? I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. In fact, there are shows a little jump start. <laughs> There's a little jump start on him. You know what? survival situation. Can't afford to be nice. Can't afford to play fair. Symmetrical warfare? Who wants that? Nobody. Q 
keep things as asymmetrical as possible. At least until we can even the playing field. <laughs> like, asymmetrical in my favor. With me on this rock. Not in theirs. Where it's two on one. Oh, it's one on one now. Alright. Well, I said we were going to do it. I didn't really mean it. <laughs> I didn't really mean it. All right, this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. Lobo, one on one, one v one with the rock break. Oh man, this is. Why did I say this? Because I didn't want you guys to think I was super cheap. But you know what? I am. If you guys weren't watching, I'd be up on that rock all day long. Or not even up on the rock, just like out of their reach all day long. Uh, keep, but, you know, keeping that in mind. Up on that rock, yeah, we're not going to get up on the rock. We're trying to fight him on, on his ground. Even though I'm pretty sure the reason the rocks are there is somewhat for protection. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, sir! No, sir! We got the corruption to worry about too? Man. Oh man, okay. Oh my goodness, all right. Well that hurt. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. This was a bad idea. Uh, ah, all right. We're probably not gonna make it. You know what? I just want you guys to remember, there's honor in a loss like this. Fighting him on his own turf, there's honor in a loss like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna retreat. We're gonna stay and we're gonna fight. Man. This is, uh, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a tough one, especially if we get, uh, if we get him, like, back near us again. Get rid of this stupid digger claws. Keep him from moving so fast. That'd be great. Those things are beefy. He has a beefy paws. Eating a rock! Oh my god, he chomped that thing! Look at that! He just he just shot up out of that ground. Alright, that was <laughs> that, was, that was man. Man. Level 35. Poor fox. I'd have to leave some. This guy's chomped on him. We're gonna pick up his uh, his bones though. And trade it for some inventory space later on. Nothing else behind. All right. And then these guys give some awesome stuff, uh, including the crystal braiding, which I need to make a little bit of space for. And get rid of get rid of rest of this desert glass right here. I think. Yeah. Go ahead and get rid of this. Make some space. We're gonna need to um to clear out our inventory, get rid of some of the unnecessary stuff. So, I think what we'll probably end up doing, seeing what we can get rid of here first of all. Hunter bow, yeah, we're not getting rid of our boar bone. We need that. We could upgrade our traps pouch. That'll get rid of some stuff. Uh, we could definitely afford to upgrade our rope caster. All right. And as far as our skills go, what would be beneficial to us, I think? Scavenger Plus. That we can get some Echo Shells. Because that reminded me, running out of those, uh, those Terror Blast arrows reminded me that we really need those things. Alright, um, and as far as the rest of our inventory, I think what we're gonna do is head on down to Meridian. We also have the Weapons of the Lodge. We should... I don't know. That's way down here. 
go ahead and activate that. We'll do that uh, when we start next session to kind of warm up. Uh, and then maybe we do some stuff down here like the tall neck, maybe the cauldron. That might be a good way to start next session. All right. Uh, so um, first, though, first to end off this episode, I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and make our way down to Meridian, deliver our trophies, sell some stuff, clear out our inventory and all that. And we are going to be fast traveling. So I will meet you there. And I think that is going to do it for me today. So this is where we'll start off next session and next episode, which will be coming soon. Uh, but as I said, I have some stuff I have to take care of. So we had a good session, though. We did a lot of stuff we can be proud of. A couple of things that we, we shouldn't be so proud of. But you know what? We're going to forget about those and we're just going to focus on the good things. So I hope you guys are enjoying Horizon Zero Dawn as much as I am. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.